Namaskar, Joy Akham, Joy Hind. This is a boy, Bhaya, and you are watching Truth. We bring to you a shocker, a deeply disturbing story from Andhra Pradesh, one that has shaken the very foundation of Hindu faith. If you be in a non-Hindu and are still silent on this issue, don't call this nation a secular one. The former YSRCP government stands accused of disrespecting the sacred Tirumala Laddus, a prasadam that is taken by millions of Hindu devotees with adulteration of the most unthinkable kind. The allegation that the Laddus have been mixed with animal fats, including beef tallow and lard. This is an utter unforgiving betrayal to the Hindu communities of India. This has sent shockwaves across the Hindu community after the allegations have surfaced against the former Jagan Mohan Reddy-led YSCPR government. How could the YSCPR government even allow the use of adulterated ghee in a sacred temple like Tirumala? This ghee shockingly contains beef tallow, lard and fish oil. This is unbelievably true. This report shows how the temple laddus contains beef tallow, including even pig fat being served in the very prasadam that is consumed by millions of Hindus that consider this as holy, citing reports from the National Dairy Development Board's Center of Analysis and Learning in Livestock and Food. These reports date to July 16 that revealed this unbelievable animal fat which was found used in the ghee that has been used to make the laddus, casting a dark shadow over the former YSCPR administration. This is not just corruption. This is an outright attack on the sanity of Hindu belief, a direct insult to the very belief system of millions. How could the former government even let this happen? Why was the reputed Nandini Dairy Co-Cooperative Society, known for its purity and trustworthiness, replaced by a shady? Tamil Nadu based company named AR Foods? Are we supposed to believe this was an innocent mistake or this is a larger part or a more sinister agenda of the YSCPR? The TDP is rightly calling for heads to roll, demanding immediate action and accountability for this disaster. It is not just about quality, it is about fate, about the very essence of the Sanatan Dharma that holds a sacred belief. The former YSCPR government has failed miserably to hold the belief of the millions of Hindus who consider this as sacred, claiming that the ghee only contains vegetable fats. This is despite having this particular report revealed on social media. But the real question now arises, can we really trust the same government that allowed the contamination in the first place? This isn't the first time that any of this shameless thing happened regarding laddus in Tirupati. While AR Foods, the company responsible for supplying this adulterated ghee, has reportedly been blacklisted, that does little to erase the damage done to the millions of Hindu beliefs and faith. Why a CPR must be held responsible for this? Hindus across the country are furious, and this is rightfully so. If immediate and strong coercive measures are not taken, this could be a turning point or a mark in the state's political landscape. And then expect the Hindu community to remain silent. This is not just about the laddus or the prasad. This is about the trust, faith and the betrayal of the Hindu community and the community that deserves better. The TDP government has now formed a Sanatana Sharma Rakshana board to inspect about the same. For now, the Hindu community has every reason to feel deeply betrayed. If this is what secularism stands in India, please question the meaning of secularism. If the same happened with any of the other faith in India, you would have seen heads been beheaded. But since we are Hindus, we are ought to be silent. We are meant to be silent. This is how majorities in India are under attack. Comment your thoughts on the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.